Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at one of the basic concepts in surveying. Yeah, actually very basic. We are going to show you how you can calculate um, linear accuracy of your traverse computation, right? Good. So we have um, a computation sheet here. We actually carried out or let's say we did this computation on the channel. I think we are going to leave a link to this particular exercise on the description section so you can um, assess this video. We actually carried out the traverse computation of this particular field exercise and then we have our corrected coordinates for each of the unknown points, right? Good. However, at this end, we have um, the misclosure. We call it um, the delta notings or let's say delta things, right? Or delta notings and delta things as the notings misclosure and then the eastings misclosure, right? Good. Now, what we use these um, misclosures for, we are that we use them to let's say apply or let's say yeah, determine the, the corrections to be applied to each of the provincial coordinates which now give us the corrected coordinates however on this video we are now going to use these two values alongside these um, total distances like now the distance from the control you started with to your first peg and then from your last peg to the control you closed on right good now if you look very closely, you see that um, this is a control KG21. And if you look very closely, this is 0.4 towards to another control, which is what KG21, right? Good. So what it means that the distances that moved from the control you started with down to the control you closed on, right? Good. So we are going to calculate or let's say we are going to add or sum up all of these lengths alongside using what these um, values of um, delta notings and delta things. Uh, yeah, our notings misclosures and our easting misclosure, right? We should now serve as our delta notings and our delta things to carry out what the linear accuracy what computation, right? Good. So thanks for coming to class. If you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing. And if you're returning to our thanks for always checking up on us. So the formula is very simple. Um, you can see something like um, one over. The square root of delta notings squared that's the raised to power 2 plus delta things squared now we've actually divided by your total distance right good now we've given them um, a description or yeah an explanation of what all of this mean the delta notings actually your nothing misclosure delta things your eastern misclosure right then the total distance as the length of all traverse lines which is from the control you started down to the control you close on right as we have said earlier you can rewind and then you confirm these values. For our northern misclosure, we have a minus 0 0.012. For our eastern misclosure, we have them 0 0.007 meters. They are all in meters. Then summing up all of those distances, we add something like um, 955.794 meters, right? We would ensure you confirm these values. Ensure that these values, as we have written them here, are very, very correct. This now implies that our linear accuracy for this particular, for that traverse, yeah, or the traverse we are working with, will be equal to 1 divided by now. The formula is very simple as we've stated earlier. However, one needs to be a bit careful because um, I've actually met some students asking me how it is being done, which is why we decided to what, make this video on it, right? Now, this first division is the last division or let's say the last operation you are going to carry out yeah i think i think that's okay this first division that's one divided by that is the last operation you are going to carry out in this formula which means when you are done with everything in the denominator you now use the quotient yeah because that's the result of division you now use the quotient and you now divide it by or let's say you divide the quotient by this right so now what do we mean we substitute the values of delta notings, which is our northern misclosure, delta is in which are eastern misclosure, right? So we have a minus 0 0.0, um, 0.012 squared plus 0.007 squared, right? Divided by the total distance of 955.794. Um, so when you get that, please ensure you confirm these values on your calculator. Um, let's just see. Good, we just um, confirmed this value and then um, we just um, saw that it's very correct. You can also confirm the answer with your own calculator, right? Good, so you add 
you add the squares of these two, then you find the square root. Then when you do that, you have the value as this. Then you divide that um, that square root you got by 955.794, right? Good. So when you do that, you have a value as what um, 0.000, like um, 10 raised to the power minus 5, right? Good. That's a um, standard number, right? Good. So when you now have that number, that's now the last point of this uh, denominator, right? We have simplified it up to this point. So what you are now going to do is very simple. We now say 1 divided by that answer. Ensure you follow through as we have explained, right? Good. So you say 1 divided by the answer. So we are now going to have um, 68799.55. This should be 558, right? Good. 0.558. Now, it does not have any units because um, at this point, we have meters and meters and we believe all of those meters would have um, crossed out. So, we now see that it's more like um, a scale, right? Now, what this means is that for every 68799 meters, we have an error of 1. That's very good. That's about 68, is that 68 kilometers because we, are, if we divide that by 1,000. So yeah, that's about 68 kilometers. So we have um, an error of one meter um, in every 68 kilometers. I think that's fair enough, right? Good. So with this, um, we now um, take it to the nearest whole number because most of the times the the linear accuracy, which is represented in form of a scale, yeah, represented in form of a scale, is actually rounded up to the nearest whole number. So rounding this M68799 to the nearest whole number should give us what 70,000, which shows that okay maybe yeah there are actually um, standard values for different um, orders of travels right first order second order third order maybe compass survey or whatever the case is so there are different um, values for the different orders right good so depending on the order you are working on you now check if the accuracy you got falls within what that um, particular order so with this we believe that it's very simple the first thing is what you know your northern misclosure your eastern misclosure then your total distance then you apply it on this formula ensure that you have your denominator set then you now see one divided by whatever value you have in your denominator right good so when you have a value like this which most times is not um, approximated or let's say yeah rounded off let's say rounded off to the nearest whole number you now round off the value you have to the nearest whole number that serves as what the linear accuracy of that particular canvas right good so thanks for coming to class we hope we have been able to show you how you can um, calculate a um, linear accuracy of your traverse competition if you have any issue maybe if you have any question comment that you would want us to come in you can leave it on the comment section or you can send us um, a direct message and we are going to get back to you as soon as possible so until we see you on our next video, ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.